First, we do this multiplication, 4 over 5 times 5. The 5s cancel with each other and only 4 remains. In the end, 8 divided by 4 gives us 2. But this answer is not correct because we did not follow one of the most important rules of mathematics. The rule called the order of operations. What is the order of operations, when a mathematical expression contains several different operations, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponents, roots, and parentheses, these operations must be performed in a specific order to reach the correct answer. For better understanding, look at this example, 2 plus 3 times 4. If we first add 2 and 3, we get 5. And then multiply 5 by 4, we get 20. But if we first multiply 3 by 4, we get 12. And then 2 plus 12 becomes 14. But which answer is correct, 20 or 14, this is where the order of operations becomes important. Imagine everyone choosing their own method, mathematics would become disorganized. Therefore, mathematicians agreed on a universal rule to prevent confusion, called the correct order of operations, which is known by the short abbreviation. PEMDAS each letter in the word PEMDAS represents a specific step. P stands for parentheses. E stands for exponents. M stands for multiplication. D stands for division. A stands for addition. And S stands for subtraction. According to PEMDAS, we first calculate the parentheses, then we calculate the exponents, after the exponents we perform the multiplications and divisions, and finally we do the additions and subtractions. Multiplication and division have equal priority, so whenever both appear in an expression, move from left to right and perform whichever you reach first. This rule also applies to addition and subtraction. With this explanation, let's go solve a few examples so we can understand PEMDAS better. Before solving the examples, please like this video right now and subscribe to the channel, this won't take any time from you, but it can help me a lot, and if you have any questions, ask them in the comments, I will reply. 2 plus 3 times 4. According to PEMDAS, multiplication has a higher priority than addition, so we do the multiplication first. 3 times 4 becomes 12. And in the end we calculate 2 plus 12. Which becomes 14. So the correct answer is 14. Let's move on to the next example. If you haven't liked yet, make sure to like and subscribe. 8 divided by 2 to the power of 2 times 3 plus 5. According to PEMDAS, we first calculate what is inside the parentheses. 3 plus 5 gives us 8. After parentheses, we must compute exponents. So 2 to the power of 2 becomes 4, and the expression becomes 8 divided by 4 times 8. In mathematics, when a number is placed next to a parenthesis, it means that the number is multiplied by the expression inside the parentheses, and usually, for simplicity, the multiplication sign is not written. In this expression, we have both multiplication and division, therefore, according to PEMDAS, since multiplication and division have equal priority, we move from left to right and perform whichever operation we reach first, in this expression, we reach the division first. So we first calculate 8 divided by 4, which becomes 2. And finally, we calculate 2 times 8, which becomes 16. I hope you have learned well so far, let's move on to the next example. 20 divided by the product of 4 and 2 plus 3. In this expression, there are two parentheses nested inside each other. In such cases, start solving from the innermost parentheses and move outward toward the outermost parentheses. So, 2 plus 3 becomes 5. And the expression becomes 20 divided by 4 times 5. According to PEMDAS, we must first solve the parentheses. So, 4 times 5 becomes 20. And in the end, 20 divided by 20 becomes 1. This question had an interesting point. I hope you understood the key idea of the question. 
Now, let's go back to the question at the beginning of the video and solve it together. 8 divided by 4 over 5 times 5. According to PEMDAS, multiplication and division have equal priority, so we move from left to right and first reach 8 divided by 4 over 5. To solve this part of the question, we use the KCF rule. K stands for keep, C stands for change, and F stands for flip. Here's how it works. Keep the first number as it is. Change the division sign to multiplication. Flip the second number. Take its reciprocal. So, the expression 8 divided by 4 over 5 becomes 8 times 5 over 4. 8 times 5 becomes 40, and 40 divided by 4 becomes 10. Finally, 10 times 5 becomes 50, so our final answer is 50. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, like the video, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments, and I will definitely answer. Share it with your friends. And subscribe to the channel.